If you can think critically and do grade school math, you can understand finance. Here are two more important ideas in finance. Cash only comes from three places, operations, debt, or equity. And risk goes down in chunks. Remember that financial engine we drew for the lemonade stand? We put cash in the gas tank, we bought lemon, sugar, and water for the factory, we turned all that into lemonade and we sold it. Hopefully, we had excess cash at the bottom of the sales funnel to start the cycle all over again. But to start that engine in the very first place, we probably needed to get outside cash into the tank. Now there's only two ways to do this, borrow money or sell equity in the business. There are a lot of variations on debt and equity, but don't let it confuse you. Debt is just a promise to repay someone at a particular date and at a particular price. The price is usually expressed as an interest rate. Sometimes you repay that money in cash, and sometimes you repay it in ownership, as in the case of convertible debt. The other way to put cash in the gas tank is equity. Equity gives the investor a percentage ownership in the business. They only get paid if there's a dividend or if they sell their shares. So it's riskier than debt, and therefore the investor expects a higher return. The two basic forms of equity are common stock and preferred stock. Common stock is where you sell a piece of the company to an investor at a negotiated price. Here the shareholders are all treated equally in a liquidation. Preferred stock is where you sell a piece of the company to investors at a higher price in exchange for letting them get paid first in the event of a liquidation. That's the preferred part. There are lots of negotiable terms in equity. For very early stage financing, I urge you to keep it simple. Check out seriesseed.com for some great templates and resources for founders. For later stage financings that get a little more complicated, nvca.org has some great ones too. Let's go back to the gas tank, the factory, and the sales funnel. Once this engine is up and running, hopefully it starts to put cash back into the gas tank. This is cash from operations. But remember, if you grow assets, sales, or expenses faster than you grow cash from operations, you have to raise money from outside the company. The other important idea is that risk goes down in chunks. You can think of a new business as a stack of risks represented as a bunch of life or death questions. Before we opened that lemonade stand, there were a lot of these questions. Can we even make lemonade? Will anybody buy it? How much will they pay? After we ran the lemonade stand for a while, we answered those questions and we reduced the risk by a lot. But the list of questions is way longer than that. And if we keep going in the lemonade business, we're gonna have to answer those questions too. And we'll probably answer them in big chunks. For example, can we advertise to increase sales? Can we improve our profit margin? Are we better at lemonade than our competitors? Now, why does any of this matter? Because it helps founders decide when to raise money and how much to raise. If you can estimate how much gas you need in the tank to start the engine, and if you know how long you need to run the engine to reduce big chunks of risk, that tells you how much cash you need and roughly when to put it into the business. And depending on the situation, you can raise cash from operations, from debt, or from equity. Aligning your financial strategy and your risk reduction strategy.